Hello, this is Michael, Michael Ratcliffe, and today I'm going to show you how to make a very cheap fogging machine from some very cheap parts in a tub. Now I use this in my greenhouse when I've got an infestation of bugs, I shut all the windows, fill this up with a pesticide, usually a homemade nicotine one which works uh, most of the time and if that fails then I buy a commercial one and add it to the water inside. You could also use this just with pure water in for your, any Halloween related projects because it does make quite a lot of fog. So we'll turn it on now. I don't know if the camera is showing you that, but it is producing quite a lot of mist. So this mist, if you're using it as a pesticide doser in a closed system like a room with all the doors shut, the mist will go into all the small nooks and crannies which you can't get with a spray and kill all the bugs and the eggs. It produces quite a lot of fog actually, as you can see. More than enough for a Halloween project and more than enough for a small grow room. So like I said, you, if you're using this as a pesticide doser, you shut all the windows, turn all the fans off in your grow room and add your pesticides to the water. So what do you need to make it? You need a 24 volt power supply, minimum 1 amp. You need a 24 volt fan, like this one here. And you need these cheap, these cheap uh, ultrasonic misters. I've got two in here. Uh, for the greenhouse, which I'm pesticide, I'll probably have about five running total because it's quite a big greenhouse. If you've got a small grow room or cabinet, Two will probably be enough. So what to do, you get a cheap tub, whatever size you want. I use this cheap one from Asda. You cut two holes in the roof, well four holes, two large holes, um, one big enough for your 24 volt fan, and then two small holes here just to run your wires for your ultrasonic mister. Now because everything's 24 volts, we can just link it direct, link them all directly up to a 24 volt charger but what I do recommend doing is buying one of these adapters which changes the female end of one of these into four so you can run your fan and three ultrasonic misters and also if you're using it for a Halloween project you want to control how much mist there is I advise you to get one of these cheap fan controllers which is just a voltage divider inside so you as I was changing the speed with my finger then, you can do it with this instead. So we'll just take the top off to show you one of these misters in action. And because we're working with water, 24 volts is safe. As you can see here, the ultrasonic mister does work but it's got a bit of splash so you want to make sure your fan and your exit hole are far away from where these will be mounting and you can control that by how much slack you have in here so if I were to put this back on you might be able to see the, sm the smoke a little bit better here now in the blog I've included a, a way to make your own nicotine based pesticide which for me it works quite well most of the time. If I've used it a few times in a row it doesn't work anymore. I have to buy a commercial pesticide to mix with the water. If you are using it as a pesticide door so you should follow all the same rules you would with a commercial pesticide dorser, i.e. don't do it with pets in the room, don't do it with people in the room and make sure it's enclosed. Now what I usually do is I just fill it up and leave it to run in there until it runs out of the fluid. These ultrasonic sensors will turn off when they sense the liquid's too low. Total cost uh, will be in the blog as well. It's not an expensive piece of kit and it works quite well. So this fan controller you'd have linked up in between the 24 volts and the fan. So instead of slowing it down with my finger like I'm doing now, you would slow it down with this. Anyway, 
keep watching and watch my other vlogs.